enthusiasm with the uh, response we've gotten on this book. Good. I'm glad. I'm always looking for a next favorite series. And this is really up there. I just enjoyed Phyllida and the maids and the cook <laughs> who was going to quit every time. <laughs> yeah, good old Mrs. Puffley. Yeah, she was. The, <laughs> your character development was very well done. That was one of the reasons I wanted to keep the estate fictional so I could develop the staff. Like I could have as many members of the staff as I wanted. I could make them be whoever I wanted and go for it. Because if I tried to fit it into what she had in reality, it just wouldn't be as interesting, I don't think. For the purposes of this series. Her life at Malwin Hall was happy compared to when she was with Christy. Yes, indeed. Apparently yes. bound her. Yeah, oh, I know. The, oh, <laughs> yes, believe me. That brought her. <laughs> Colleen, I thank you so much for talking with us. I enjoyed this book. I hope this series just takes off. This is one step in the right direction by having me on here and talking about it. So I really appreciate that and so glad you enjoyed it. And I look forward to coming back. I would love yeah. to come back and talk about A Trace of Poison when it comes out. And let's keep that in mind. Are you going to be at Malice? I am. Can't we wait. Will see you there. We, All right. We will come up and introduce ourselves. Yes. I wish you all the best with the book. Thanks, uh, Anne. I appreciate it. Have a it. great evening. Thank you. You too. Good Thanks, night. Colleen. Good night. Trivia. Last week's question was, which famous mystery author served as a yeoman on President Theodore Roosevelt's presidential yacht? A. William Bayer. B. Rex Stout. C, Raymond Chandler, or D, Franklin Dixon? The answer is B, Rex Stout. He served in the U.S. Navy from 1906 to 1908, including service as yeoman on Theodore Roosevelt's presidential yacht. This week's question is, what is author Tony Hillerman's Navajo name? A, man with silver pen. B, he who is afraid of his horse. C, he who talks to spirits. Or D, he who writes truth. Good luck. Well, that brings us to the end of another episode. We thank you for listening, and we hope you join us next week when we'll have another book for you to think about. And remember, Life would be boring without a little mystery. Bye.